four, three. Welcome to Healthy Food, Happy You. I'm your host, Gina Lewis, and our goal on this show is to show you the benefits of a well-planned whole foods, plant-based diet. Most notably, some of the benefits include a complete reversal of type 2 diabetes, and in some cases, even the reversal of cancer. I'm so excited about this show today because on our show, we have Aya Aubreyhead, creator of the blog, blackveganlove.com. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. So nice to meet you and so nice to be here. Yes, yeah. absolutely. I'm so excited to have you here. So today you're going to be showing us how to make a insanely delicious raw vegan taco, right? Yes, yes. I'm going to be making raw vegan tacos and taking you through the steps on how to make it. It's going to be awesome. Well, okay. So one thing that I really miss about, you know, just eating everything is the ooey gooey creamy cheese. And I know a lot of vegans and vegetarians they, they claim this is the hardest thing to let go, is that creamy cheese. Yes. And when I think of Mexican food, that's what I think of. So are we going to get some of that deliciousness? Yes, today. Today we definitely will indulge in that deliciousness. And it was hard for me as well. Like when I went vegan, it was hard for me to let go of cheese. So really? I hear that a lot. I work with a lot of transitioners and they say that that is, you know, it's a textural thing. It's is like, it really like texture? Said. I'm thinking yeah. they put like crack or something in it because <laughs> it is really addictive. It really is. It really is. And I've heard people say that the molecular structure of cheese is like similar to opiates. So I don't know. There might be some science, what? you know, behind that. Yeah. That is crazy. Yeah. Okay, so what are we going to start with? So, um, like you said, it's cashew-based. It's, it's a cheese. It's all vegan, and it's all raw. And um, it consists of one cup of cashews, okay. and those are raw cashews. But the thing about cashews is that technically they're not raw. You can get them raw, but mm -hmm. they're more expensive, and they have to be hand-polished. So, so you don't have to do raw? You don't have to do everything raw. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll explain a little bit later as well about the other nuts and things like that. But yes. I'm so glad we're doing cashew cheese too because the one bad thing about dairy cheese is it weighs you down and you, after you indulge in your Mexican food, no one ever is like, oh, I'm ready for a run or, right, right. but cashew cheese gives you so much energy. Yes, I definitely agree. And with raw foods in general, you feel a lot of energy after you eat. You don't feel lethargic or sluggish. You feel energized, like you said. Yeah. That's exciting. Okay. Yeah. So the cashew cheese has one cup of cashews. Can I go on ahead and dump these in you as sure we chat? You sure can. And if I spill these, which I guarantee you, I'm going <laughs> to spill something today. But. And three tablespoons of coconut aminos, which is a raw alternative to soy sauce. This is coconut aminos? Yeah. There's like coconut oil, coconut cream, I coconut. Know. This is And it's easy. cool. It's raw. It's 100% raw. It and smells like soy sauce. Yeah, it really does. And it tastes like it, too. And that is three tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Mm, I love lemon juice. Yeah, me too. Okay. And I like the lemon because it helps to balance off the sweetness of the cashews. And that is three tablespoons of garlic infused olive oil. Mm, I can yes. smell the garlic. It's yeah. so good. Yeah. So garlic infused, this is something you yeah. did at home? Well, you can do it at home, but you, if you don't have time, if you have a busy schedule, you can definitely like pick it up. Three kiddos store. busy schedule, I like that. Basically. Buy it, it ready-made. There you go. So there's um, a little sliver of jalapeno in there, mm, just for a little yeah, heat. Yeah, now we're talking. A half of a red bell pepper and one clove of garlic. Okay. Dump that in there. And that is a quarter cup of cilantro. <sighs> cilantro is so yummy. This is going to be delicious, it's I can tell. Yeah. It really is tasty. So flavorful. And I'm going to grab a half teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. Himalayan pink salt. So I saw something about Himalayan pink salt that it's yeah. healthier than your average salt. Yeah, it's not processed and it's all natural and it has a lot of the minerals that your body needs. Good to know. And that is a third cup of water. Perfect. Now I you just dump usually that always <laughs> No, you're fine. So I'm going to put on the lid. What is that? This is a cool blender that I got actually just a couple days cool. ago. I know, I know. And blend it all up. 
That looks good. Okay, so while she's blending this up, we are gonna be setting up for our next segment, which is what are we gonna be making after this cashew cheese? We're gonna be making taco nut meat. You did not just say taco nut meat? Yes, I did. I will explain everything later. Okay, stick around for this taco nut meat, and we'll see you in just a second. Alrighty, and we are back. We just finished up the cashew cheese, which looks delicious, by the way. And this is the consistency that you're looking for. You can blend it up, you know, basically based on your desire, but this is the consistency. So we're a little for today. bit thin. Yes. You want it to be yeah, so it's spreadable. Kind of that creamy texture, yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. And next, I am so sorry, but nut meat, really? Yes. So you know how many jokes are going to be made about nut meat? This and, is hilarious. And it's so funny because I get a lot of flack because people are like, why, if it's vegan, are you calling it meat? Why, if it's vegan, oh, yeah. are you calling it cheese? Yeah, I can imagine but those you questions. Know, it's really for transitioners. You know, people are looking for food that's reminiscent you know, of the food that they left behind. Right. Yeah. They don't want to go cold turkey and just start gnawing on a plant or something. <laughs> so well, exactly. give them some familiarity. Exactly. So right. what this recipe calls for is half a cup of almonds and half a cup of walnuts. walnuts. Oh, I'll <laughs> save you. <laughs> Three tablespoons, again, of the garlic-infused olive oil. Mmm, yummy. Mm -hmm. it smells really good. I don't mind eating plants just like they are. I know. Goodness. And three tablespoons of the coconut aminos, which is, again, the... Smells just like soy sauce. The it's soy amazing. sauce alternative. Why wouldn't you want to use soy sauce? Well, you know, some people are doing soy-free. So many people are doing gluten-free, oh, soy-free. It's Just another alternative, again. Yeah. Um, and that is a quarter cup of parsley. Parsley? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is going to be so flavorful. And I am going to put in a half teaspoon of, again, salt. The Himalayan pink salt. Uh -huh. And then we're going to do a tablespoon of the cumin if you want to help me with that. So an entire tablespoon mm -hmm. of cumin. And again, what we're trying to look for is like a ground mm -hmm. meat. And I don't want to gross the vegans out, <laughs> but ah. the ground meat kind of flavor. And these are spices that are commonly used now, in Now, do that. you want like a heaping tablespoon? I'm not a heaping. That's perfect. That's, That's perfect. good? Yes. See, I'm not a great measurer, so my food never has consistency from, you know, like the first time I make it to the next time I make it. I know, and you know what? You I just kind of take what you get. <laughs> and I can be like that, too. I've been trying to get better with res recipe preps. Coriander. Mm, yes. It smells so good. It smells so fragrant. Oh, I love cooking. So I'm going to put the lid on. Well, not I'm cooking, on. right? Because this is raw. Exactly. You're uncooking. You're uncooking. You're uncooking. So I'm going to put on the lid. And it's great so when my husband's like, what's for dinner? I'm going to be like, I ain't cooking your dinner. <laughs> and he's going to be like, no. Be like, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to blend. That's starting to actually look a little bit like meat crumbles. Yeah, that's totally the goal. So you don't really want to blend it up too much so it becomes smooth. You really want it to, you know, be kind of gristly. Yeah, that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah. All right, so we made the cashew cheese. We made the nut meat. <laughs> and now what are we going to be making next? Next we're going to make a tomato sauce to go tomato along with sauce, it. Tomato mm sauce. -hmm. And then what's after that? I know we have four, right? Yes, and so we're going to assemble the raw taco. Well, you know what? This has been so easy. It's been literally under eight minutes so far just to do all of this. Mm -hmm. So moms love that. Thank you. Thank you for showing us. Yes, this. yes, definitely. We, we are going to get our next ingredients ready for the tomato sauce, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, we are ready to make the tomato sauce, but first Aya is going to show you her delicious nut meat. All right, so this is basically what it turns out to be. So you can see it's a similar consistency to ground. That does look know. so good. I can't That'd wait be. to dig into that. Yeah. And the smell smells <laughs> so delicious. Yes, yes. 
So we're going to move on to the tomato sauce that goes on all okay, of this. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. We were laughing behind for during the little break about how easy this was and it looks like it's only eight minutes and you're done, but really she did a lot of chopping beforehand. I was here so. for hours. Oh no, hours <laughs> slaving away. So if you're going to have a party, this is a great dish to And you can actually make a lot of this ahead of time, right? You so really can. Prepared and ready to go whenever mm -hmm. you get off work, throw everything together, and voila, dinner. Yeah, and a lot of people think that um, raw foods, you know, they take a lot of time, but they don't have to. So no. what you're holding right there, that is a quarter cup of sun-dried tomatoes. All right, I love yeah. sun-dried tomatoes. Yeah. And then we have a quarter, or oh, three quarter cups of fresh tomatoes. Yummy. Yes. And I like heirloom tomatoes. You can use whatever kind of tomatoes you know you have access to. Local tomatoes are great as well. Okay. And then we have a quarter of an onion. You can use more or less depending on your taste. And you want white onion? Mm -hmm. Or red onion, again, depending on your preference. Okay. And that, those are two deglet dates. You can use medjool as well, um, but two dates just to give the tomato sauce a, you know, a little natural sweetness. Um, that's so, yeah. such a great idea. And those are just a couple um, basil leaves. Throw those in. This is like all flavor. This, no, no bad fat for you. It's just all delicious flavor. It really is. And that is a quarter cup of cilantro. You know, I think Really, we've gotten so used to eating just the junk food on the go that we have forgotten what real food with tons of flavor tastes like. It's so true. It is so true. And that is actually, again, the garlic The garlic, yummy oil. oil. And that's a tablespoon of that. Okay. And then we have a half teaspoon of salt. Love it. And... We're going to blend, blend that bad up, boy up. And it's going to be just like a regular tomato sauce. And the benefit of using the sun-dried tomatoes is that you get a little texture in there as okay. well. So it's not just like, you know, flat. Yeah. So yeah. let's see what this looks like. It looks so colorful. And every master chef will tell you what you want as color in your food, right? Yeah. And I could smell it from Oh here. my gosh, yeah. this smells so good. So now all we have left to do is, is assemble the taco. Is just plate it, right? Yeah, we just need to plate it. That is fairly simple. So we will be right back plating this up and about to devour it. I'm so excited. <laughs> Stick with us. Alrighty, we are so close to eating these delicious raw vegan tacos. Aya, this looks so good. Yes, it's gonna be really, really great. And this is the fun part. This is when okay. we assemble everything. Yes, the so, fun part's yeah. eating it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come <True>. on. <laughs> true, very, very true. So I'm gonna get started. We're gonna start okay. with the nut meat, your favorite. <laughs> and I like using a small- I love nut meat, just saying. <laughs> so, um, we're, yeah, we're all a little nutty. Um, so I like using a small spoon just because I'm dainty. Okay. <laughs> and it just makes it easier and less messy. You are dainty. Our <laughs> house is so different. We barely measure, dump food on the plate, scarf it down. It's it's not pretty. At oh yeah, house. that's 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 mine too. Basically, <laughs> on TV it's different. Than on here. TV it's different. <laughs> so you're gonna load that on. Okay, okay. So the nut meat goes on the bottom, and then you're gonna do the tomato sauce. And you can put as much or as little as you want, based off of your own preference. And I have it on a romaine leaf, but you can use, yeah, you know, so. a lot of different other variations. They have raw taco shells made from flax and things like that, mm -hmm. too. So that's So that. you put some of the cheese in this container here. Yes. And so that's the cool thing about this cashew cheese. You can play around with the textures. You can have like super creamy or you can have, you know, a little oh, bit more, idea. you know, fluid. And yeah. so this is great. I like I, that. Yeah. And I like the squeeze bottle. A lot of raw chefs use it. So you can just get really fancy and just squeeze in the design. You can that write your really name cool. or anything like that. So if like you that. have um, cheese left over, cashew yes. cheese left over, how long is it good for? Um, Generally, I would recommend no more than three or four days. Yeah, I the fresher with, the better. Yeah, I know with raw foods, they try to tell you to eat it within a few hours of cutting mm -hmm. the um, plants up because you want to get all of the 
the nutrients from it and the longer it's out, the more enzymes are lost. Yes, that is true. You know, the food that is the freshest is the most enzyme active. So okay. yes, that is accurate. But it's not going to be, you know, bad for your health You're if you leave You're still going to get a just, ton more nutrients out of it exactly. than you would from some ready-made, like <laughs> ready sitting out for hours fast Or a microwavable meal or exactly. something like that. Yeah. See, that looks really good. That looks really good. I am going to try this name thing that you said. Okay, you're going to write your name? Wow, In that's cursive. awesome. Nobody knows what that, that's like those um, machines at the counter, the checkout counter that you scribble your name on and you're like, that is not my signature, by the way. This looks so good. I cannot wait to sit down and yep. try this with you. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, and, thank you. And showing us how to make this. In just a second, you're going to see a show from PCRM. Just kidding. In just a second, you're going to see an announcement from PCRM. So enjoy that, and we'll be back with you at the table. For years, scientists have explored remote corners of the Earth, searching for exotic substances that might help prevent cancer. At last, man has discovered a secret place where powerful remedies can actually be found. Medical research shows that a vegetarian diet rich in fruits, vegetables and whole grains can help prevent many types of cancer. Wherever you live, cancer prevention is as close as your grocery store. To learn more, call 866-906-WELL. So we know this girl can not cook because it's <laughs> raw, but we're gonna find out so much more about Aya Abrihead. Tell us about your blog, blackveganlove.com. You can't even say that like black vegan love. You gotta say it like blackveganlove.com. <laughs> yeah, you have to put that little yeah, flavor little with it. Yeah, a little soul in that. <laughs> So Black Vegan Love is a forum about all things healthy and basically I started it because I noticed that there were huge disparities within the community um, you know amongst African Americans in comparison to other races and I really wanted to help and I love food and I wanted to spread the message of healthy eating. That's beautiful. Yeah, I definitely. love that. I've seen so many I was looking through your blog last yeah. night and really just read it uh, read through sometimes there are some inspiring posts from guests as well that you've interviewed and yeah. what I noticed most is they were really inspired by their teachers and mentors. I know a lot of teachers stand up and talk to their students all day and they're like no one's listening to me but teachers make a huge difference. You have a platform to inspire and share and really change lives. Yeah. So yeah. tell us about some of your guests and uh, your the guests that you interviewed on your blog. And um, I've interviewed Dr. Baruch. Um, I've interviewed um, various hip hop artists like Sarok and um, authors and things like that. And those like people that. are also in a really good position to yeah. inspire others. It's really a chain pretty cool to see. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is great. It's great to reach out to people that have a notable name mm -hmm. so that, you know, people when they read the blog or the Facebook page, because um, I have transitioned um, a lot of the information now onto Facebook where I am primarily. Okay, so yeah. Facebook, they can look you up as Black Vegan Love as well. Uh-huh, um, all one word, Black Vegan Love, facebook.com slash Black Vegan Love. I love Facebook, so find her there. Yes, yes please find me there. And we have 8,000 members and growing. And oh. yeah, yeah, it's been really great. A great experience. So exciting. Yeah, yeah. When people eat healthy, they need a support group, you know, mm -hmm. because it's not the norm for to a lot start, of people. For sure, you need it's, that It's it's so true because you know sometimes you'll have struggles. You'll um, you know you just want to reach out to other people that are in the same situ the same situation, like-minded individuals. Yeah. Well, that reminds me of a question I had for you. Mm -hmm. What about the you know the people that are struggling to make these changes? Food can be so addicting you know what do you do yeah yeah it's true it really is there's so many addictive properties that they put in foods mm -hmm. and things like that so people can struggle so I always say you know don't try to do it all at one time don't try to do a complete dietary overhaul don't try to take everything out you know so when <laughs> I've heard those people that are like okay my diet starts Monday right don't do that. Don't Just do that. start making small changes. Yeah, because if you your diet starts on Monday, a lot of times it ends on Friday or Monday's <laughs> miserable anyway. Right. Why, why do that to yourself? <laughs> exactly. So you want to think about it not so much as a diet, but as a permanent lifestyle change. And for anything to be permanent, I mean some people can do things overnight, but the majority majority of us, we need to do things bit by bit, step by step. Sure. Yeah. 
How long does it take a person to change their taste? Because I keep telling my kiddos, you know, they're like, I don't like broccoli or whatever it is. And I'm right. like, well, I'll eat three bites tonight, three bites tomorrow. And pretty soon they're like, oh, I love that broccoli. Can I have it? Yes. And it's funny. They don't even realize their tastes have completely changed. Well, the experts say that, you know, it takes about 21 days um, okay. for your palate to change. And I've seen that for myself because my son used to complain about vegan food and he mm. didn't like it. And now it's like nothing, you know, and he's gluten free as well. And wow. so, yeah, it, and it's nothing. And in school as well. So all his have you noticed any too. changes in him? Oh, I know yeah. that some people say behavior is profoundly impacted by diet and yes. I have a special needs daughter I've said that many times on the yes. show and we did switch her diet to a plant-based diet and it is night and day difference and I have the same experience he was diagnosed with autism years ago and he's a completely different child wow. through natural intervention so that really got me on the road um, so to amazing. natural healing yeah not having to do all the pills and just expensive yeah um, you know, pill popping that we have grown accustomed to doing in this country right. and just really stick to natural medicines. They do work. They really do work. And, you know, they, they're quick and easy. You know, it doesn't have to be about being gourmet every day and, um, you know, just being really fancy with it. You can whip a lot of things together. There's Absolutely. so many recipes online that you can find, cookbooks. So if you really want to incorporate more plant-based elements into your diet, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to do so. Absolutely. So tell me about, I have several bodybuilding friends yeah. and I want to stick to a more raw yeah. vegan diet. I'm not, a, you know, laying the smack down <laughs> on anything. I want to take it easy. I just want to eat healthy and better for myself. Yes. If I want a freaking cupcake, I'm going to have a freaking <laughs> cupcake. But I work out a lot yeah. and, and I have all these bodybuilding friends that are eating raw diets. How can you possibly consume Right. enough is it a myth that we need so many calories so much food well you, you definitely need calorie um you know rich foods but you need nutrient dense foods and so what happens is a lot of times people you know they're like where do you get your protein that's what you oh, hear I hate all that question. don't time. ever ask me that question oh my gosh i get <laughs> asked it all the time anyone who's vegetarian i will or vegan, go mad cow on you <laughs> <laughs> So, no, but it's true. But uh, yes, many experts are saying that it is a myth. I do know a lot of people who are athletic, who are athletes, and they do raw. And um, again, it's just full of natural amino acids, which are the stuff that protein and these is are, like, made top of. top athletes. There you go. I mean, they. Uh, one of the guys just recently won second in a bodybuilding competition. This dude is massive. Right. And, you know, it's just amazing that you can get in that great a shape on plants alone. Yes, yeah, when I first went raw, I mean, my health, it just, it wasn't in a terrible shape mm -hmm. at, at the time, but oh my goodness, allergies that I had, oh, gone. they gone, yes. exactly. I can just say things and you can say gone, it's like asthma, gone, like, you know, yes. my skin just got really glowy and things like that. So for me, it's like vegan and then a step up, yes. you know? A lot so. of people find it so hard to believe, but I'm like, really, if you just try it for yourself, yeah. you will see it 21 days, you will yes. see a difference yes. in yourself. So what is it about, you know, why aren't we seeing these massive changes in the American diet. If we have this information available, we know that this can possibly reverse diabetes, possibly reverse cancer. Why don't we see it? every single doctor recommending right. this. Right, you know, I think it's a number of different reasons. I think it comes down to, you know, self-initiated choice. And mm -hmm. what happens is, again, there's a lot of um, addictive properties in the food itself that are drawing people to the, you know, eat bad for you food choices. And as well, food has become like this emotional comforting thing, Yeah. you know, so. Which um, we need nowadays. Which I we, mean. yeah, I mean, but I think you so. Can you can make comforting food. You can comfort yourself, yeah. And, and I think people are addicted to textures and things like that as well. And there is the controversy that, you know, healthy food is expensive. And I'm not going to lie. I mean, when I buy organic mm -hmm. kale, it's two fifty to two ninety nine, as opposed to in conventional grocery stores where it might be ninety nine cents or less. So there is that difference yes. there. We need to have you back on the show I because I too. saw on your blog you were talking about eating dandelion greens, which are delicious, by the way. Yes. So I would love to hear more about how to eat very healthfully 
on a budget. Yes, definitely. So please come back. I would love to. Where love as, to. Do you have any upcoming events that people can see you at? Yeah, um, we have a meetup, a vegan meetup at Everlasting Life Restaurant and Lounge in Capitol Heights, and that's going to be happening on a monthly basis, and we're going to do holistic lectures and have guests and food demonstrations and oh, all things like that. Idea. We'd love to have Wait you guys come out. Absolutely, yeah. we'll be there. <laughs> so let's try this okay. delicious food. I've been waiting so patiently. You just pick yes. it up. And you can pick it up. You don't have to be fancy. Again, you can pick like it that. up. You can wrap it up if you want to, and you just chow down. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm. With your help. I make a huge mess. This is good. With your help, this is great. <laughs> Thank you so much. That is so rich. Yes, really. The flavors just pop out, and that's really what raw food is all about. And it's really filling all the textures and oh, I can't even describe this to you. You must try this. It is so good. Oh, I'm so glad you wow, like it. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you so much. So if you want more information yes. on Aya, please look her up. Facebook, Black Vegan Love, and her blog as well, blackveganlove.com. You can also go to our website, Healthy Food Happy You, to look up past episodes, some upcoming events, and learn more about how you can reverse type 2 diabetes and possibly even cancer. Look us up on Facebook as well. We'd love to hear some of your comments and some more viewer stories about how you've been impacted and inspired by our guest. We'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Gina Lewis, host of Healthy Food, Happy You on FPA Channel 10. Our goal is to show you how you can improve your health, even reversing diabetes type 2 and other diseases. On every episode, we have a different expert showing us how simple, delicious, and healthy it is to eat cholesterol-free foods using 100% plant-based recipes. Check out our show every second Wednesday at 9.30 a.m., every second Friday at 5.30 p.m., and every second Sunday at 6 a.m. Look up our website at www.healthyfoodhappyu.com.